number of moves. So, so we're looking at the formulas, please. Know the formula to use. Can you see my board? Yes, please. Okay, very good. So, amount of substance is the same as number of moves. So, the first one we are talking about is amount of substance. Amount of substance. Amount of substance or number of moves. Don't ever leave a question blank because they asked for an amount of substance. They didn't say number of moves. Please, they are the same thing. Please, they are the same thing. So, number of moves is equal to one mass over molar mass. When now the question is, when do I use this formula? We use this formula when the mass is given to you. Eh? When the mass is given to you. So you see that 0 0.3 grams, 0 0.2 kilograms has been given to you. The moment they, you see that the mass has been given to you. Okay. And then, okay, enough. Okay, I'll take your question. And then the substance has been given to you of what? Sodium hydroxide. The moment they mention the substance, you know that I can find the molar mass. The mass has been given to me. I just pick the mass, put it here. Put the molar mass, calculate the molar mass, put it here, and then what? Cost forever. Your, your mm -hmm. unit. forever. Is it clear? So the moment you see, you see, I'm going to look at all the other. This is not the only formula number of moves is connected. I'm going to come to this. Right. one after the other. Please, uh, somebody should mute. Now you mute yourself. Uh, this guy was. Okay. So. But that I'm can you the... Hey, casting. My brother. So, um, uh, what's it called? When the unit, okay. So I'll okay. Right now, I'll look at the more issue. I'm taking it one all the all all of it. Okay. Right. So the mass has been given to you. The substance has been given to you. Then you can find use this formula. Can use this one. Okay, now what's your question, please? Yeah, uh, so please, Mike. I didn't have the question, but I think you skipped the VM and the V volume over the VM. Oh, I'm I'm taking it one after the other. I'll go. I'm I'm taking I'm taking all formulas that has to do with number of moves. So I've, I've, uh -huh. okay, I'll okay, okay. touch on this. Okay. I'll touch I'll touch on the rest. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, good. So very good. Now the second one is. Number of moles is equal to concentration times volume. Note this formula too. Number of moles is equal to concentration times volume. So when do we use this formula? We use this formula when you have your concentration. Eh? The moment you see 0 0.6 mole per dm cube has been given to you, or molar has been given to you, the moment you see 0 0.8 mole per dm cube, the moment you see this. Eh, look at what I'm also writing. Hmm. More per dm, and then you see a volume given to you, let's say 20 cm cube of one particular substance. Then you can use this to find what the number of moles. So, this is another formula C stands for concentration, V stands for volume. C stands for concentration, V stands for volume. You just multiply it. Okay, that's the second formula that is connecting number of moles. Another formula that connects number of moles is um um what's it called um number of moles is equal to v over vm. Now this formula v stands for volume. This vm stands for the molar volume, which is twenty four. This is a constant twenty four dm cube. We use this formula only only. Word of caution. Only for gases. If you are not a gas, don't use it. Some of you, you are stranded. You just pick a new formula and start using it. We use this formula for gases, carbon dioxide gas, oxygen gas, nitrogen gas, chlorine gas, hydrogen gas. Uh, only for gases at RTP. So the moment the question mentions RTP or STP, then you should know that this formula will come to We are going to use, definitely going to use this formula. Okay. At... RTP or STP. That is the only, only for gases. So if you see sodium hydroxide, leave sodium hydroxide alone. Don't use this formula for sodium hydroxide. It's not a gas. 
if they, they tell you that they, they, they've uh, ionized it and then it's in a gaseous state, hallelujah, that one's fine. You can use it. Uh -huh. If not, only for gases at RTP or STP. So the only thing to, you need in this formula is the volume. If you want to find is the volume because VM is 24 DMQ. The only thing that you need in this formula is the volume. So know how to use this formula. All the formulas I'm giving you, you can do change of subject to get whatever you want. I don't want to touch on it. If I go to the change of subject, you guys will come and tell me, eh, say, can you go over again? I'm confused and all those. So I'm taking it one after the other. That is going to take a lot of time, but I, I, I know why I'm teaching this way. And, and the normal circumstances, let's do the, uh, okay, the change of subject and then let's move on. But you, let's go. Another number of moles is, um, number of moles is equal to big N, number of particles over Avogadro's number. This Avogadro's number is 6.02 .6 times 10 is 23 particles. It's a constant value. This Avogadro is constant. So you'll be asked to find this. This is the number of particles. So I've given you four formulas that number of moles is connected to. I'm taking it one after the other. Number of moles, small n alone. I'm giving you four. Okay, you should know all the four formulas by heart. And based on the instructions in the question, you know which formula to use. I believe after I'm done with this, uh, 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 this the rest of the topics you can do. Okay. Okay, then here you just do change of subject. I'll touch on the change of subject. Change of subject is a problem. Change of subject is a, at that point, if you cannot do a change of subject, it is not chemistry, it is mathematics, it's your mathematics, which is having a problem. This is what I realized in stoichiometry. One, your English comprehension, ability to comprehend what the instructions in the question. The comprehension you are learning. Please, it's very, very necessary here. I don't know where you apply, but psychometry, you are good there. And then, one, your English, your comprehension. So, the question is saying 20 cm cube of 0 0.8 mole per dm cube of sodium hydroxide reacts with, um, 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 let's say, 5 grams of sulfuric acid to give you this. Now, you don't know what has been given to what. You read the thing, you read the thing, you read the thing, you read the thing. So, does it mean that uh, the 8 gram is by the sodium hydroxide and then the uh, 0 0.02 more per DMQ, then that means it is not chemistry. You can't blame it on chemistry. It is your comprehension. It is your comprehension skills, which is weak. And then the next thing is chain of subjects. So if you get these two, the, the rest will be easy for you. Uh -huh. Then you know the formulas. That's all. Okay. All right. So good. Now let's move on to another way we applied number of moles. It's called more ratio. So Anna, your question, I think I'm touching on it. Um, and those of you don't understand the mole ratio. Um, I think I've touched on all the number of moles formulas. Uh, I should think so. Let's look at mole ratio. Mole ratio is very, 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 very important in stoichiometry. One of the most important aspects of stoichiometry. You know that if you know the mole ratio well, we can find anything we want because of mole ratio. Now, when do we use mole ratio? As the state say, it's a ratio. You no know, ratio is in the form A is to B. And A is to B is a fraction, A over B. So you should be able to set up your, what, your ratio very well. You should be able to set it up very well. When do we apply more ratio? We apply more ratio when we are looking for the number of moles. Mind you, I didn't say mass ratio. I never said concentration ratio. I never said volume ratio. I said mole ratio. Whatever they've given you, change it to moles before you can do mole ratio. Now, we use mole ratio when you are asked to find the moles of a substance who doesn't have enough information. Let me give you an example. Um, I have calcium, calcium hydroxide is reacting with HCl to give you calcium chloride and water. Uh, who is balancing this for me? Anybody, 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 anybody? Farid, is Farid there?
no the fight is in game nasara who is balancing this for me nasara i know you are there i know i know you are there you are there uh, you can hear me oh people to move fast fast la oh some of some people are going some of some people are going to chill and the rest Eh, uh -huh. uh, Emma. Place... Okay, she says what? So you put two before the hydrochloric acid. Very good. You put two. This is rare, right? Yes. And so then you put, you put two... two beside the hydrogen, the water. The water. Yeah, yes, very good. What she said. That's mm -hmm. thing. You didn't hear what I said. Yes. Now, now it is balanced. Okay, good. Yeah. Now, now pay attention here. Imagine they give you five grams of calcium hydroxide. Imagine they're giving you five grams of calcium hydroxide, but they're asking you, find the number of moles of hydrochloric acid. Do you have enough information? All the formulas you know, you know that can help you find the number of moles. Which of them will help you to find the number of moles of ACL? Don't tell me mass of molar mass. The five grams is for the calcium hydroxide. So, no, first of all, yeah, good. So, number of moles is equal to mass. Let's look at this formula, whether this formula will help. Oh, yes, I can get the molar mass. Hallelujah, I can get the molar mass. But I can't get the mass. They didn't give me the mass. So, this formula will trash it. It won't help me. Find the number of moles of ACL. Let's go on. Let's try another formula. N is equal to V over Vm. Can this formula help me? I don't even have the volume. I have 24. I need the volume to be able to find it. And more about it is not the gas. So this formula applied is no, no. We trash it. Now let's look for another formula. Concentration times volume. Number of moles go to concentration times volume. You don't have the concentration. You don't have the volume. This formula will not help you. Eh? And then, Joe, you keep going in and out. And then the number of moles... It's equal to big N over L. They didn't give you the number of particles. They didn't give you how much particles it contain. So this one too will not help us. So good. So hence the question still insists. Find the number of moles of ACL. Now we, we've realized that no information. We don't have enough information for ACL. The only information we have for ACL is the molar mass. If I have the molar mass, I need the mass to find the number of moles. So no. So Anna, I'm paying attention. We cannot find the reason. But the question is insisting to find that we find the number of moles of ACL. So this is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. Okay. We are going to find the number of moles of this. Can we find the number of moles of the calcium hydroxide? Yes. Everybody, can we find the number of moles of the calcium hydroxide? Yes. yes. Can we? Good. What formula will you use to find the number of moles of calcium hydroxide? Uh, N is equal to M over MR. Very good. N is equal to M over MR. So everybody find it, find it and tell me. Your, all of your answers should agree. If somebody's giving me a different answer, the problem is the molar mass. I've taken you through how to find molar mass with something containing a bracket. So you should be able to do that. Benjamin, what did you get? The answer. Now, tell me the molar mass of calcium hydroxide phase. Hey, those of you behind behind the scene, you are chatting among your friends. You better stop that. Okay, Ethan, what did you get for the number, molar mass of calcium hydroxide? So, 74. 74, very good. So now we can find the number of moles. Number of moles is equal to mass over molar mass, right? Now the mass is five grams, the molar mass is 74. What are we getting? Mm -hmm. Who is helping me? Jairus. 
Okay, 0 0.0675 mole. Good. It's very good. Thank you, Jaros. 0 0.0675 moles. Now, this is the mole of calcium hydroxide. I don't have space, that's why I am calcium hydroxide. Now, the question didn't ask you to find the moles of calcium hydroxide. The question says find the moles of HCl. The question never asked for calcium hydroxide. So why did we find calcium hydroxide? It's like you are doing angles. The question can ask you to find a particular angle. But if you don't find another angle, you cannot find the, what the question is asking you. We don't have any information to find the number of moles of HCl, but we have information for calcium hydroxide. Because of mole ratio, I can find the moles of calcium hydroxide and do a mole ratio to find the moles of HCl. Now the question is, how do I set up my ratio? How do I set up my ratio? Now, ACL is what you are looking for. ACL is what you are looking for. So when you are doing a ratio, your ratio should be always in the form A is to B. What should come first is what you are looking for. ACL is what you are looking for. ACL is to the one that helped you, uh, that one that the substance whose most you are going to use is to calcium hydroxide. And are you okay? Anna, are you okay? Is she here? Indrani? Yes, sir. Is everything okay now? You asked a question about more ratio, right? Yes, sir. Are you okay now? Um, yes, if I like, I have another question. Okay. Now, when you set up, it's online in the class. No, no. Oh, she that she's asking for this. She's left. Okay. Now, the way she set up the setting up the ratio is very, very important. It's the most important thing to do more ratio. Uh, then you use the balance numbers to do your ratio. Here is two. So ACL come first. So two is to what? Let me write it here. Two. Uh, ACL come first. So two is to calcium hydroxide, the balance. Brian, somebody is already recording this. Okay. So it will share for you. Yes. If I keep allowing, allowing, allowing. Okay. I think Prasanna is recording recording the class. So he'll share it to you. Okay. Now, you use, okay, good. So you can ask Prasanna. So two is to one. We use the, the balance numbers. Hydrochloric acid has two in front of it. So two, calcium hydroxide has one. If nothing is written in front of the compound, the, uh, uh, the ratio there is one. So two is to one. And then if I'm doing my, sorry that my body is looking messy. If I'm doing my distance, since I'm looking for calcium hydroxide, and uh, since I'm looking for ACL, sorry, and of ACL is what? Two over one times the most of what calcium hydroxide zero point zero six six two five or this six five two or whatever. Is it the who is lost? If you are lost, lift up your hand. Me. Who? Who is this? You see. Uh, why? What's your problem? What's your problem? Is it that you cannot set up the ratio? What's your problem? Tell me, please. Everything. I don't understand anything you're doing. You don't understand what? A anything else going on in this class. You just entered? No. So, Inshira, Inshira to said she's lost. Say, I okay. understand. Princess doesn't Princess understand. Doesn't okay, Princess. Okay, so Inshira, Princess. And, and then who else? Okay, so let me take it again. Let me take it again. Please uh, pay attention. Don't, don't leave, okay? Uh, so, so then I'm going over the more ratio. I'm going over the more ratio. Okay, so let me, let me go back. Uh, sorry, my board is messy. Yeah? Let me clean everything. Oh. oh. Okay, so okay, 
Okay, so let's... So more ratio is mostly used with the equation. Okay, more ratio is mostly used with the equation. Okay, for instance, um, you will see, and then, um, yeah, the rest. More ratio is mostly used with a chemical equation. Okay, I'm going to make a mistake. Okay, cool. Okay, very good. Now, okay. Um, you see, and and the rest. Not only them, some people are still there. Let's find the number of moles of ACL. Find the number of moles of ACL. Uh, let me state this: when you are doing your molar mass calculation, in and you are picking the substance from a uh, you do balance numbers, please. Molar mass is gram per mole. So, imagine, imagine I'm doing the molar mass calculation for ACL. Between that little cooling, that is all about the truth. Forget about the number that is balancing it. In molar mass calculation, we don't include it. Okay, so please, please take note of that. All right, let's go. Now, okay, so we have five grams of calcium hydroxide. We have five grams of calcium hydroxide. Okay, five grams of calcium hydroxide. Okay. So, 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 we, have, we want the number of moles of ACL. So, who is helping me? It says, solve that for me. You will see, I want you to find the number of moles. You cannot use the five grams. So the five grams is for calcium hydroxide. Tell me the number of moles of ACL and tell me how you got the answer. M says 0 0.125. How did you get that? Because I helped her. So, um, How? Two, ti two times zero point zero six two five. Ah, are you on the same person who said you don't understand? This? How? Did, why did you multiply by two? Because that's what she said. So that makes you understand. No, no, she only understand because I taught her. It's that. It's that. It's that. What that? Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay, so let me take it. Again. So let me take it now. So you can see that um, I cannot find the moles of ACL. I don't have any information for ACL. I don't have the mass that I'll do mass for molar mass. You did you get it, Nicole? Um, and then the rest. I don't have the mass to do mass for molar mass. I don't have the concentration. I don't have the volume. If I have the concentration, then I can do any circle to C times pain. Then I find the number of moles for ACL. I don't have it. So I understand no. Okay. The moment you realize that the substance they are asking to find its moles, okay, you don't have enough information. Then it means that go to the next substance. Go to the next substance. Go and find the moles of the next substance and use it to do a ratio. Are you getting it? So I don't have enough information for this. This, this. So I'll go here. I'll go here and see. Okay, can I find the most of this? Oh, I can find most of this. But that substance, that substance has mass. So I can just do any equal to mass by molar mass. I can do mass by molar mass. Get the number of moles of calcium hydroxide. Do more ratio to get the number of moles of ACL. Simple. Now, the substance could also be any of the products. They can give you the concentration of any of the products. Anything. They can give you anything of the product. Do more ratio to find the substance in question. Are you okay? Are you okay? No, we'll get to the question. Get to the, I want, when I get to the questions, I will not struggle. That is how I teach. I will lay the foundation and then you now, so I time you get there, you now you do the thing yourself. Yeah. I can solve the question and then still put them in there. So now when I'm doing the more ratio, I set up the ratio in such a way that the substance that I need should come first. HCL is what I need. I want the most for it. It should come. It's toward the substance that I've calculated for. Customer. 
Okay. Now the ratio is two is to one. Two is to one. This one came first. So two is to what? One. Those of you that they are living, you start hitting spoon. Please. Um, and then I know some two minutes. But if everybody is at the class with everybody, not a group of people. Times what? Times the most you found, which is 0 0.065, whatever, too. 0 0.065. The answer you get is the uh, So, Princess says she has 0 0.11 or 1, 2, something, something. 125. Princess, get 125. Yes. Good. So, that's most is for ACL now. Is it clear? Anybody? Are you okay now? Are you okay now? So we can do the more ratio for any substance. We can do the more ratio for any substance. Any substance. It can be calcium hydroxide and uh, what's it called? Calcium chloride. Or calcium hydroxide and water. Or anything, any, any of the substance. You should be able to do the more ratio for it. Now, I think if that is clear. Now, let's move on. Uh, Ibrahim, you asked a question related to more issue Idrani. um yes sir. no sir i'm okay. okay what's your question there was just that like in the worksheets there were some questions where there was enough information about both the reactants but like they'll, they'll go ahead and ask they'll, they'll say how much of this reactant reacted in the in the yes. chemical very good we'll get it uh -huh. very good we'll get it <laughs> So Idrani has brought us to another thing. Now, now, the problem with more ratio is not that you don't understand. It. This is where the problem is. This is where the problem is. The question will go on and ask you. The question will go on and ask you. Find the mass of ACL. The question will not even go and ask you find the number of moles. The question will not go on and ask you find the number of moles of ACL. Find the mass of ACL. Now, then you start asking how. Please. In this, if they are asked to find the mass of ACL, you should know that you do more ratio. This is an indirect more ratio approach. It's an indirect. Because mass of, I've not got into the formula for mass. Mass is equal to number of moles times molar mass, eh, the change of subject. So write it down. Mass formula is this, number of moles times molar mass. Whatever the question is demanding from you, quote the right formula and ask yourself, do I have enough information? Enough, please, I'm coming. Okay, I'll take your question. Okay, after I can see your hand. Okay. Do I have enough information to help me find the what, what they are asking for? What's the formula? The formula will expose you. The formula will expose you well time. The formula will expose you. The formula, so imagine that I'm asked to find the mass of this here. Then I write the formula. Mass is equal to number of moles times molar mass. Or oh, since it is ACL, the formula, the molar, uh, the formula has been given to you. I can find the molar mass. Oh. Now, if I can find the molar mass, if I can find the molar mass, then I need the number of moles. But you don't have enough information. The moment you ask, you say this to yourself, I don't have enough information. I don't have enough information to find the number of moles. Then you should be thinking of more ratio. So more ratio pops up when you don't have enough information for the compound. Every formula is failing you to find the number of moles. The more ratio comes comes to mind, you do the, uh, the more ratio to get the number of moles of ACL. So let's say we had 0 0.125. Then you go straight and come and put it here. And then we multiply it by the molar mass and then we get the mass. Is it clear? Is everybody okay? And now if your question, your, your question, maybe I'll ask this. Yes, yes, so my question was, for example, they give you the five grams for the HCL. So if you want to find the moles, is it the five grams over the uh, molar ma mass of HCL yeah, or yes. you have to add the two to it? Oh, oh, if they give you the, uh, the, 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 the mass of the HCL, then go straight forward. You don't need to do more ratio. And then they're asking for HCL. You go straight forward. So the two doesn't matter if they give you the five no, no, grams. No, 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 no. In the molar mass calculation, the two doesn't matter. Are you okay? Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh -huh. 
Is it clear? Yes, please. Okay, good. Now, Darius was asking for the formula units. Uh, how can, can we go to the number of particles? Okay. I don't want to divert because I'm on more ratio. If I go to the number of particles, maybe I'll I'll sp spend more times there. And then, uh, I'll, I'll, so I'll touch on it. Okay, as we move on. Okay. Now, let's move on. Okay, so with, with that, now I think now everybody's okay with more ratio. More ratio is very, 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 very important. Very, 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 very important. It will help you find the number of moods of anything. And then number of moods alone is connected to a lot of things. Nico, are you okay? Uh, you see what's your question? Sir, can you do one example of the more ratio? Okay, okay, I'll give one example. Nico, are you okay? Okay, so, 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 okay, so now let's take another example. Let's say, then after that, you do uh, limiting regions, another more ratio, another is related to more ratio, so I'll touch it. Then I'll go to concentration and then we start with the worksheets. Uh, we start with the worksheets. Okay, so I think that's it. They said I have limited time. So. Um, let's say aluminum oxide. Aluminium oxide reacts with hydrochloric acid to give you aluminium chloride plus water. Um, who is balanced? Prasanna, balance this for me. You are just there, you are recording this thing. Okay, sure. Let me write it down and balance. Insha, Insha, you also balance. Insha, we check whether Prasanna's answer is correct. Sorry. Ah, Bobby, but... Yes, I think um, we put a six before the HL. Six in front of HL. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then two before ALCL3. Two before ALCL3. I think three, at the, three before H2. Think I'm not sure. Um, guys, is he right? Yeah, is right? Is he right? I don't think so. Okay, let me ask the the judges. Hey, you people, hurry up! Hey, Nasara, Ivan, Benjamin. See, so he's right. Is he right? John. Yes, sir. John, is he right? Yes, sir. Okay, John, you have a question. Okay, so now, now pay attention. I have the... The mass of this is 2.5 grams. Okay. okay, you will see, find the number of moles of this. Find the number of moles of that. And then who is this? Uh, find the map. You see left. You see left. Question there with Johnny. <laughs> hey, you see still here. Somebody left. Who is that? I'm here. Hey. <laughs> okay. We are looking for the mass of hydrochloric acid. We are looking for the number of moles of hydrochloric acid. And then, um, yeah, so um, you'll see, we are doing the number of moles of air, aluminum oxide for me. Nicole, we are doing the mass of hydrochloric acid for me. And then, uh, who else? And then, uh, Princess, you are doing the number of particles. Okay, you okay. Number of particles. Number of particles. Everybody do it too. Everybody do it. I can change my mind and call a rear. I can change my mind and call them born. Vinaya. So don't be saying I call some people. Yes, I wanted to know. I want like I want to know whether they get it. They are the ones who are actually like that. Hey, Nasara, why you want to say something? 
If I ask you a question, you are quiet. Brian, Brian, you also answer, answer a question. So you see, did you get the number of moves? First of all, everybody, what's the number of moves of? Okay, no, let me leave it. Let me see somebody who I can call. Hey, Brian, what should we find first? Brian, what should we find first? What's the first thing we should find? The most of two A L C L three. A L C L three, very good. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. The most of the one with the mass. The most, the most. What should we find first? This is the molar mass. The molar mass of okay, of what? Of the one with the mass there. Okay, what's the name of that compound? I can't tell if you wrote it under the three or the two ALCL3. AL, I wrote it under the uh, ALCL3. Yeah, so for that one. Uh, what's the name of that compound? It's a muscle called. Um, it said it's um, mm -hmm. a cabbage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's aluminum chloride. <laughs> aluminum chloride. <laughs> Yeah, very good. Aluminum chloride. Don't mind me. Uh -huh. Aluminum chloride. Okay, good. So we are finding the molar mass of aluminum chloride. And then what will you use the molar? It's Michelle here. What will you use the molar mass for? To calculate moles. To calculate the moles. Okay, so fine, fine. Let's go. That's good. And who is done? Who is done with the most of aluminum chloride? Sir, uh -huh. what did you get? So, will they give us the uh, what do you call it? The atomic mass for the AL and the CL, like that? Or oh, it's on the project, my friend. My okay. friend, enough. Is that you? No, sir, that's not me. That's Daniel. Ah, uh, Daniel, why are you asking this question by this time of the day? By this time of the day, you're asking this question. Okay, so what did you get? Uh, Indrani, what did you get? So for the moles of aluminum chloride. Yes, please. I got, uh, I got, uh, I can't hear you. There's 0 0.016. 0 0.01, zero, uh, zero one. guys, is she right? Yeah, I got 0 0.019. Hey, I got 